hope everyone had a lovely weekend and firstly I'm so sorry I didn't get around to doing a video yesterday. Basically I had my vaccination on Sunday and yesterday I could barely move my arm so I actually tried to make a video and about a minute into it I was like no, there's no way I can actually put any weight on my arm. So that is why there was no video yesterday. So today we're going to have our general flexibility. I was going to do the strength session, but I think if you did miss out on that, then do refer back to last Monday's um, and we just carry on as usual. So yeah, we've got a general flexibility session today. I hope you guys enjoy. You were flexible afterwards, but you were flexible before. Um, and let's get on with it. We're going to start today with the feet together and then we're going to bring the arms up to the ceiling, bring the hands together, bring them down to heart centre and then we're actually going to walk the hands down the legs into a pike forward position, bring the chest into the legs. From here we're going to walk the hands into a downward dog position. So slowly bring the hands forwards, bring the feet backwards, driving the heels into the ground, the armpits to the wall behind you. And then in this position, you've got the option just to shift the weight from one foot to the other. Nice and slowly. From here, you can lift one leg up into the air. You can rotate the hips a little bit straighten the leg if you want to and then bring that leg down and change to the other side so rotate the hips if you want to open them out bring the leg to a full extension and then bring the foot down to the ground walking the hands back into the feet curving of the spine bring the hands to the elbows and let the body hang Try and keep the legs as straight as you can in this position, the weight from the front of the feet. Then we're slowly walking the hands up, the legs curving of the spine, reaching the arms up to the ceiling, bringing the hands together down to heart centre, and we're going to circle the arms going backwards. And then the arms going forwards. And we're going to come into our hip circles. So little circles to begin with. Hips coming forwards and then to the back of the room. Gradually getting bigger with the circles. Hips driving all the way to the front of the room and all the way to the back of the room. And then we're changing direction. So starting off little circles and then gradually increasing that size of the circle. And bring the arms out to the side, feet should be about shoulder width apart, and then we're going to reach over to the side. Straightening the back, reaching the hand to the wall. Then we're going to bring one hand down to the ground. You can keep that leg straight or if you want to, you can bend that leg or the arm which the hand is reaching down towards the ground. And then you're going to fully extend the arm and reach it up to the ceiling. Then we're going to come up, bring the arms to the side and change to the other side. So coming over to our first sideways position. Make sure your hips are not forwards, it's not backwards, you just want to keep it to the side. Straightening or flattening down the back, reaching the hand to the wall. Again, you've got the option you can bend this leg of the side that we're on. And then we're going to reach the hand down to the ground and we're going to fully extend the arm up to the ceiling. And we're going to circle that arm round and come down into a low lunge position. In this low lunge position, we're really trying to drive that back or down to the ground. And then if we can, we're putting the elbows onto the ground. So we're getting nice and deep into this stretch.
From here we're going to come into our reverse low lunge, straightening the front leg, flexing the front foot, chest is coming down towards the front leg. And then tucking the toe underneath at the back, coming into our reverse high lunge, straightening both legs. From this position, we're going to change legs and drop down to the other leg, low lunge in this position, so elbows driving down to the ground, back quad pushing down to the ground. Coming into a reverse low lunge, straightening that front leg, flexing the front foot, bringing the body down towards the front leg. Tucking the back leg underneath and straightening both legs, bring the chest down towards the front leg. And from here, we're going to get into our side to side lunges. So dropping down to one side, trying to get your back hamstring down to the ground or the leg, the hamstring of the leg which is straight. And then we're almost like driving the knee out to the side of the leg which is bent, keeping the chest up. We're going to come through the middle to the other side. As I have mentioned before, some of you guys might be up here if you're not that flexible and you're just kind of moving from side to side. So shifting the weight from one side slowly through the middle to the other side. You can use the hands in the middle if you need to or you can take the hands off if you're able to do that. Just going to do five on each side. Off we go. One two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and this last one we're going to hold in the middle in a deep squat position, so lowering the body down to the ground, driving the knees out with the hands or with the elbows, trying to keep the chest up. We're going to hold for five, four, three, two, one coming up, full extension, squeeze the glutes, and we're going to go back down, try and get a little bit deeper into the stretch. Coming back up, we're going to do this three times, squeeze the glutes, coming back down, a bit deeper. And last one coming up, squeeze the glutes, coming back down, and hold that position for five, four, three, two, one, and relax. We're going to come forwards, keeping the knees in line with the hips, and we're going to come into a frog position. And in this frog position, <laughs> if the camera wants to make us, we are going to go into our PNF stretching. So, knees in line with the hips, and from here we're going to squeeze the body as hard as we can, the glutes for five, four, three, two, one, and then we're going to relax and get a bit deeper into the stretch. We're going to do this three times. Squeeze for five, four, three, two, one, and relax deeper into the stretch. One more time. Squeeze. Five, four, three, two, one, and relax, and then hold that position. If you want to, you can get some yoga blocks in front of you. If you're flat, then just hold that position, relax into it. So for another 10. Five, four, three, two, one, and relax. Bring the legs backwards, and we're going to go into our straddle stretch. So we're sitting down, legs are coming out to the side, reaching the arms out to the side, and then we're going to reach the body to the side, rotate the head up to the ceiling, hold that position. Feel a nice stretch in the obliques. And bringing both arms straight down towards the one leg, chest coming down to the leg. You can flex that foot if you want to, or you can keep the foot pointed. And then we come through the middle to the other leg. And 
and then reaching the arms out to the side and then reaching over. Rotate that body up to the ceiling. And bring the arms up into the middle and then we're going to lower the chest down, down, down to the ground. Try and keep the body straight as you do this. If you need to, get the arms on the ground or the elbows on the ground. If you can, chest lower down to the ground. If again you need to get some yoga blocks, then do that just to help support the body. And last five, four, three, two, one, and relax. Bring the arms up to the center, and then we're gonna bring the legs together, and we're gonna go into our laying down glute stretch. So one leg is gonna be bent, the other foot is gonna be on that knee which is bent. And then we're bringing the front leg in towards the chest, driving that knee which is out to the side, to the wall in front of us, and just hold that position. From here we're going to lower that leg up front to the ground, fully extend that leg and then we're going to extend the other leg up into the air and we're going to go into our pinup stretching, keeping both hips down the ground, make sure the hamstring of the leg which is straight is down the ground, pull the leg as far back as you can and then start to resist into the hands for five, four, three, two, one, and then we're going to relax, put the leg a little bit further back, keeping both hips down on the ground and resist into the hands for five, four, three, two, one, and then pull the leg a little bit further back. Last time, resist into the hands for five, four, three, two, one, and hold that position. Five, four, three, two, one, slowly lowering that leg down to the ground. And then we're going to chain you to our glute stretch on the other leg. So crossing that foot over the knee, bringing the front knee up towards the chest, driving this knee which is up to the side towards the wall in front of you. Extend one leg down to the ground, the opposite leg to last time. Fully extend the other leg into the air, keep the hips flat on the ground, and then pulling the leg back to your chest. And then resist into the hands for five, four, three, two, one. Pull the leg a little bit closer into the chest. And let's go again, resistance for five. You might see a little bit of a shake. Three, two, one. And then one more time, pull the leg in towards the chest and then resist into the hands for five. Three, two, one, and hold that position. Three, two, one, slowly lower that leg down to the ground, and we're gonna come into a pigeon position. So bringing one leg in front of us, and then back hip push down to the ground, the leg in front of us, trying to get it at a 90 degree angle and then we're lowering the chest down to the ground. Five, four, three, two, one, and let's change to the other side. So bending that front leg, back leg straight, lowering the chest down towards the ground. And relax, we're going to come into a butterfly position, so bring both feet together, dropping the knees down to the ground. 
You can lightly press down the knees if you want to, and then you can also lower the chest down to the ground. And five, four, three, two, one, and relax. We're gonna bring the legs out in front of us and we're actually gonna stretch out the calves. So if you can, you're gonna reach for that foot. If you can't reach the foot, then I suggest you get a towel and you actually hook the towel around the foot and then that can help drive the toes towards your body. And that's gonna really help stretch the calves out. and change sides. So you try and pull the toes back towards the body, keeping the legs straight. And relax. And then we're gonna move on to our cat cow, so onto our hands and knees, and then lowering the lumbar spine down to the ground, the lower back. Lifting a thoracic spine up to the ceiling, get that nice curvature, and let's go through that range of motion. So three more times, and lowering down, and one last time, and then we're just going to come into cat cow circles, so circling the body round, and then opposite direction. One more time both ways. Dropping down to your chest. Coming into our seal position, so either on the elbows or fully extend the arms, driving the chest back. And then sitting back on our heels, coming into our child's pose. Coming back onto our front, back into our seal, pressing up with the arms. And sitting back on our heels, into our child's pose. Coming into our hands and knees, and we're going to go back into our downward dog position. So pressing the heels down to the ground, and we're going to walk the hands in towards the feet. Let the body hang for a couple of seconds, laying the elbows, slowly walking the hands up the legs, curving of the spine, reaching the arms up to the ceiling. And thank you very much, guys. Well done. I hope you guys enjoyed that video, and I will see you tomorrow for... Um, maybe I'll do a mixture of normal and more advanced handstand, just because, as I said, we didn't miss out on the handstands yesterday. Um, but, yeah, I look forward to it. So see you guys tomorrow. Bye.